first thing we do is, you know, after you took it out of the box, put those batteries on charge, charging everything, including your Wi-Fi receiver, everything. So, you know, your next step is to download the software for your DJI. So to do this, we're going to go to DJI.com. And once you get to DJI.com, so, you know, this is the page that you see if you visit the site for the first time. Then you're gonna go to products, you pick which DJI Phantom you, you bought, so you pick your model, and then you go to downloads. Okay, so here you can see you have all everything in PDF and zip, but what we're looking to download here, so here is the DJI Vision app, so you can just scan the code and, and install it on your mobile device straight away. But what we wanna do is actually go right down to software and drivers, the first thing you want to do if you have a Windows machine is you need to download the .exe file. Okay, so this automatically installs into your computer. If you have an uh, Apple device, then you've got the three options below here. But, you know, I have to tell you, you're probably going to see some of my videos where I'm using the iPhone. But I had to upgrade to uh, Samsung, uh, which is an Android phone. And because the, the iPhone seems to be too slow uh, for the video feed. So, you know, there is a lot of misinformation going on on the internet, so be careful, try and follow your manual, or follow our videos, post your questions, because what I like to do is play by the book, because that's the best way to fix any issues you have with your uh, DJI Phantom. So we begin by downloading the driver, so let's click here on exe file. I'm gonna save this on the desktop, because I got installed it straight away. I guess it's already downloaded, so I gotta run this, so double click, run, English, or set to a different language if you want, um, yes, that's fine, next, next, install, so, okay, what this is doing is now preparing my system to recognize the USB connections between my remote control, USB, and my Wi-Fi extender. Okay, so you need to download these drivers, otherwise if you just go ahead and download the software, it may doesn't work if your computer does not detect that it needs the drivers. Now, next we're going to need, uh, so we're going to need the RC Assistant software, which is this one, or RC Assistant software. So desktop, save, and we can also, while that one is downloaded, I'm going to download this one here, the latest version as well. Again, desktop, save. So I download the exe files, but you can download the zip files, and then what you need to do is extract the files first and then install it. So exe files are here, so it's easy to install it and get rid of the stuff that we don't want. So let's install the uh, RC system installer. Again, next, next. Yes, so you tick both create a desktop icon, yes, create a quick launch icon, yes. So click next and install. Launch. And there you go. So this is for the radio, okay? This is for your remote control. Now, we're not going to do this in this step. We'll do this in the next step, the calibrations, etc. So this is just to show you how to download the software first. So I close this one. Next is for the Phantom. Again, we can select the language. Next, next, next. Again, I got both ticked. If you did not tick, tick them. I click next and install. Yes, finish. And there it goes. You can see, skip that. And that's for the Phantom. Okay, we'll go through this in the upcoming tutorials as we, when we connect it to the Phantom and the controller. There you go, so I downloaded the software, now if I go back to my desktop, as you can see, this is the ones in the hard with the shortcuts, so that's the software, and these two here, we can actually bin them. Okay, this is the uh, .exe files, so we don't need them. We can delete that. So now they're gone, this is the drivers, the drivers is installed, you can delete it as well, you don't really need it, because all you need to do is the drivers. This is the two icons we will need, so if I double click, it opens, and it shows down here on my 
uh, toolbar you can actually right click and pin okay so pin so it stays there so once it's open I can actually pin it so if I close it again because it kind of went missing there and the next one skip I won't pin that so you can pin it again Regime is this because I installed it before so now if I open them again there it is right click pin to taskbar and reopen this one and again right click and pin to taskbar okay there you go so now we downloaded the software let's move on into the next step and carry on it our setup for the DJI Phantom Vision Plus or DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus once again I'm Janunz please comment and subscribe bye bye for now